Hello from Pan Society. This is Laura Giles and I am talking to you today about peafowl. So, um, peafowl is the name for the male and female bird. The girl is the peahen. That's the girl. And this is what you're used to seeing right there. It's the peacock. And these animals are symbols of a bunch of different things. So first of all, they are symbols of protection because they honk really loud. And they were honking just a while ago. Maybe they'll do it for you again. Like guinea fowl, if they're startled, they make a lot of noise. They honk really loud too during mating season. Um, and the cocks will do it when they're rushing at the females. This guy is really friendly today. I can't believe him coming up as close to me with the camera. So lucky. Um, when they're rushing at him to fertilize him, basically. And there's another pea, peacock or pea fowl pen on the other side. So he's been calling to the girls over there earlier today. Um, if you want protection from witches or sorcerers, you can make a talisman of peacock feathers, amethyst, and swallow feathers. Uh, peacocks eat snakes. So they're also protected for that reason. And that's why you see them on lawns in India and British of uh, the royalty. Not to mention that they're really, really pretty. Um, in Babylonia and Persia, the peacock is seen as a guardian to royalty. And they're often seen on engravings upon thrones of royalty there. In Greco-Roman mythology, uh, they say that Hera created the peacock from Argus, the giant with hundred eyes. His eyes symbolize the vault of heaven and the eyes of the star. And you might be wondering, where are the eyes on this guy? Well, peacocks lose their feathers every year. So you don't have to kill them to get their feathers. But you can see his are growing in. How pretty! I wish you could see the light that I can see. Because it doesn't show up on the camera. They're really, really pretty. But you can see that one stray one coming in with the eyes on it. Um, so, back to Hera. <laughs> um, others say that Hera got the peacock from the god Pan. So, how ironic is that? <laughs> the Hindu goddess of wealth, fortune, and prosperity is associated with the peacock, too. Peacock is associated with Kuan Yin, the Asian goddess. And in this tradition, she represents spirituality, love, compassion, Watchfulness, goodwill, nurturing, and kind-heartedness. Kuan Yin's love and compassion are shown in the story of her ascending to heaven after her father murdered her. And on the way, she heard the cries of humans and chose to remain behind to help all those who were suffering. And here we got a bunny coming into the frame. Hi, bunny! <laughs> um, let's see. Ah, for another association with love... The Kama Sutra says to cover a peacock with gold, cover a peacock bone with gold, sorry, and tie it on a woman's right hand to make her see a man as attractive. Yeah, some gold might make a man <laughs> or see a man as attractive. Um, I don't know if you can see those little things on the top of their heads. Let me see if I can zoom in. Let's see. Yeah, you can see them right there. See those things? Those are sensors. So the female sensors on her crest allow her to feel the vibrations of the male when he's calling, a mating call, um, to her from long, long distances. They say that they can uh, hear mates from five miles away. Is that crazy? So when he shakes his tail feather, it vibrates at a rate of 26 times a second that will rattle the female's head and get her attention. So Christians have a peacock association too. In Christianity, the eyes represent the all-seeing church. Makes sense, huh? Other symbols in Christianity are resurrection, renewal, holiness, and immortality. Some say the bird is valued as protection for the psychic self. They say that having a peacock around the home protects the home from any violations. But most say that it's bad luck to have peacock feathers. Come back, guys, in the house. 
Um, it can make you an old maid or it could just bring you bad luck, illness, or death. So they're really social creatures and they live in flocks of about 10 with each male having two to three females. This might give you some idea of what it's like to be a peacock but I have one as your spirit helper. Here's another bunny. Hey bunny. <laughs> so, um, if you have any stories about the peacock, maybe a peacock's your spirit animal, um, let us know what you know about peacocks. See you later.